Welcome to this new video, usage of all function in DAX. So as you know, all function in DAX returns all the rows in a table or all the values in a column, ignoring any filters that might have been applied. So this function is useful for clearing filters and clearing calculation on all the rows in a table. So here in this example, what the interviewer wanted to ask is, you have all the year and you have all the total revenue, but you need to have that land revenue separately and you need to find the difference between this total revenue and the land revenue. So at the same time, if you select the air, this environment name air, that also difference should be shown. The problem here is since filter context is there, so whatever option you select in the slicer, because of filter context, in this table, the value will reflect upon those filter from the slice. So when you click on water, this land revenue will become null because we are selecting only water. So we are selecting only water revenue. So, and because of that, the land revenue will become null. So everything will be blank the, at the same time here, the water revenue will be shown. So we don't want that to be happen. We want water revenue to be shown here as well as the land revenue to be shown here. And we need to find the difference of it. So for all for this reason, we are using the odd function for land revenue. We will see how we are doing that. So we are having a data set of life science, and here we are having table calendar, which we are going to use. And we are going to use this mode environment name. And of course, we are going to use this fact table purchase. And here they have already created a measure called total revenue where it will calculate all the purchase revenues. So here what we need is we need to get the table and in this table we are going to select the year. And in this year we will take out all the hierarchies, only, we need only the year. And here the next thing is what we need is total revenue. And we got the total revenue. And at the same time we need a slicer. We will take a slicer and in the slicer, we will be selecting the environment name. So here, whichever name we will select, that should be reflected here. Of course, the land is reflecting here. Now we are selecting the water revenue and that is reflecting here. Our case is we need to have another column called land revenue and we need to subtract this revenue from the land. So what we need to do is we need to create a measure for land revenue. So you can create it as land. So land revenue equals to calculate. We need to keep a filter to distinguish between the land and get the calculate total revenue. And then we need to get the filter. Filter and the filter is for the mode. The table name is mode. This is the table name. And we are going to filter it in your name equals to land. So now we got this land revenue measure and we are going to select it inside this table to so got the revenue for land. And here, this is the total revenue. Of course, I have changed the name of that. And now what we need is we need a, a difference, a, another measure called difference, and we need to get the difference between these. Now there is a problem when we created the land revenue, we haven't mentioned the all functions. So we will see how without an all function, it will be. so we will create another measure that is for difference. Difference equals to total revenue minus land revenue. So we are going to select the difference also inside this table and we got the difference. Now, once we start using it, we will see the change because now everything is fine. You got the total revenue and you got the land revenue. And now if you're selecting the water, see what happened to the land revenue. It went out and the difference is not the, the difference it is not showing. It is showing the total revenue of water. It is not subtracting by the land revenue. The same thing, it happens in air. And the same thing it happens for land. If you check the ticket for land, of course the difference it will come as so only that is correct. Remaining everything is wrong because water is not showing water difference. For this reason, we need to have this land revenue values table. So what we can do is that we can take away all the filters from this land revenue. So for that, we are going to change this measure, select the measure here inside the filter mode. Filter, we can use all function.
So now this is the change we have done. We have given an all DAX function inside this filter mode and we will see whether everything is working perfect. Now we will do the same. Okay, of course, the total revenue you got the difference. Now we are selecting the water. The water also we got the difference. So the difference between this is the water revenue and this is the land revenue. We got the difference. At the same time, if we select the air, this is the air revenue and this is the land revenue. We got the difference of it. Of course, when you select the land revenue, it will be zero because both the values will be zero. So in this case, we can use the all function. All function is very useful for these kind of circumstances and find the difference inside a table. Since everything is filter context, you need to take away the filter from this table and for that, we're going to use the all tax function. Hope this will be useful for you. Thank you. Have a nice day.